everybody. Hello, hello. It's me, Michelle Thomas, medical intuitive energy healer, psychic and transformational coach with Radiant Living and RadiantLivingHLC.com. How's everybody doing? I hope you're fantastic. Welcome to our week ahead forecast for July the 17th. Um, let's get started. Every single week I pull three cards and I tell you what they all mean and how they work together so you can embrace the energy of the week. So let's get started. So first things first, I pulled the observer card. Observer. And then we have imagine, imagine, and then breathe, breathe. So how do they all work together and what do they all mean? So first things first, observer, the observer card, right? So it's really important this week to observe what's going on in your life, right? Don't make rash judgments. Don't uh, make any kind of knee-jerk kind of responses to things. You need to kind of take a step back, see things from that 10,000 viewpoint and see maybe the ways that you need to move yourself forward, right? Um, figure out what it is that you really want in this world, right? Because the Imagine card is all about visualizing your dreams into reality um, and, and really kind of stepping into that space of what if, what if? Um, and so, but you need to figure out what you want, right? So by being that that keen observer in your life, asking yourself why, why do you want something? Why is something not working? That why word is super important to figuring things out in your life and getting to the actual root of what the issue is or what you truly want. Um, because again, visualizing and, and really bringing it into reality, that manifestation energy is prime for the pump. So make sure that you are visualizing what you want, but you got to know what it is. The universe can't bring, I don't know. So stepping fully into what it is that you want, visualizing it, feeling, healing, seal, feeling it, seeing it, and knowing that it's all going to pop. Like, Pull into your life, right? Use all of those beautiful like abilities that you have to manifest things, right? Manifestation is not kind of a just I'm going to visualize it and it's going to happen, right? It requires all of your chakras. It requires the visualization piece, the knowing what you want. It requires you verbalizing what you want, saying it out loud, feeling it. How are you, how are you going to feel when you actually have it? That power center, it's like taking action, being the leader in your life. Um, and then it's like being inspired and really kind of uh, taking action and knowing like the direction you want to go in and, and allowing yourself to give birth to those beautiful projects, those beautiful dreams, making them into a reality. And that root chakra, again, really rooting them into the 3D, into this world, making them happen. And then lastly is the breathe card, which is like, listen, don't stress out about this. Take a breath. It is not so complicated. Stop letting yourself get trapped in overwhelm and uh and and overthinking things keep it simple stupid um is kind of that uh beautiful phrase so don't get too overwhelmed uh and then when you need to get grounded and we need to really pull that energy back again remember to breathe get outside um but it's really like bringing that calm and uh very focused presence into your life so i hope you have an amazing week i will see you guys all next week uh, and again remember if you need me um please reach out uh you can uh, go to my website radiantlivinghlc.com book a session i have lots of different types in there um but always happy to work with you whether that be through energetic healing um or through giving you some divine guidance and wisdom that you need to move yourself in the right direction i hope you have an amazing week and i'll catch you guys all soon have a good one bye